Hi guys. This is Diagrotech. And today we are going to install GNS3 VM within VMware Workstation Pro. Again, you have to understand the two components of GNS3. First, is the GNS3 client which we have installed in Windows 10 in the previous video. You can check the link below if you haven't checked yet. Second, is the GNS3 VM which we are going to cover up in this video. We will install GNS3 VM within VMware Workstation Pro. If you are new to my channel, please like, share, click on the notification bell and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Let's proceed. Go to gns3.com. Scroll down and click free download. Select the operating system. We will choose Windows since we are using Windows 10. You need to choose based on your operating system. Again, you need an account to download the file. This is a free account. You can create account or login if you already have one. In the previous video we have installed GNS3 client version 2.2.17. This is very important. We need to install the same version of GNS3 VM. They must be in the same version so we will have to download and install GNS3 VM version 2.2.17. Since we're going to install the GNS3 VM within VMware Workstation Pro we will select VMware Workstation and Fusion. We will cover up VirtualBox installation in the next video. Wait for it to download, the file is approximately 631 megabyte. Let's now check the downloaded file. Since it's compressed, we need to extract the file. Right click on it and select extract files. You can see that we have downloaded the same version, since it is recommended to avoid errors. You can delete the compressed file if you want. You can see the file is .ova but it's not recognized yet, we need to install the VMware Workstation Pro to open the file. Go to VMware.com Downloads Workstation Pro You can see that there's a version for Windows and Linux. These are the latest release during the time of this recording. We will choose version for Windows since we are using Windows 10. Click on go to downloads. Click on download now. Same goes with the GNS3 website, you need an account to download the file. You can sign up for a new account or login if you already have one. You must agree to the license agreement and click accept. It will automatically download the VMware Workstation Pro. Let's now check the downloaded file. You can see the version is 16.1. Before we proceed with the installation, Make sure to shut down or quit the GNS3. Double click to install the application. Click next. Read and accept the license agreement then click next. Click next since we're going to use the default installation folder. We don't need to check for product update on startup and join the VMware customer experience so uncheck the boxes. Click next. We will create shortcut on desktop and startup menu so just click next. Click on install. Now. Right click on the network icon at the bottom right corner and open network and internet settings. Go to ethernet and select change adapter options. 
the VMware will automatically install additional network adapters, so don't be surprised if you see additional network adapters displayed here. You can see the VMware workstation shortcut automatically created on desktop. You will see the status. Installing network drivers. You will notice that additional network adapters will be automatically created. We have three additional network adapters added. Click on finish. Now, run the VMware Workstation Pro. In this window, you can enter your license key if you have one. I don't have a license key so I will choose the second option which is 30 days trial. If you want a free version, you can use Workstation Player or VirtualBox. Click on continue. Click finish. You can see that your evaluation periods ends in 30 days. You have option to get a license or enter a license key. Now, we will import the gns3.ovm file. Go to File, Open. Go to the downloaded file. Select the gns3vm then click Open or double click on it. Click Import. It will now import the GNS3 VM into VMware Workstation Pro. In this window, you will see the default setting. But, you don't change the settings from here. You will change the settings like the CPU and RAM within the GNS3. Let's shut down the VMware workstation and run the GNS3 application. Again, every time you run the GNS3 you have to wait until the server summary turns to green. At the moment you will notice that only one server is currently running. Now. Go to Edit, Preferences. Under Server, this is the one currently running that you can see on the server's summary. Go to GNS3 VM. Enable the GNS3 VM. You will notice that the VMware Workstation Player is recommended. Click on it to check other options. The GNS3 VM will be automatically added, if you don't see it you can simply click on refresh. This is where you specify the amount of RAM and CPUs you want to allocate for GNS3 VM. We will get back to this afterwards. You can choose action when closing the GNS3. Do you want to keep the GNS3 VM running? Suspend the GNS3 VM or stop the GNS3 VM. Let's leave it as default. Now click on OK. You will notice that the GNS3 VM is starting. Since we already enabled the GNS3 VM, this means, every time we run the GNS3 it will automatically run the VMware Workstation Pro. Let's wait for the VMware workstation to finish the startup process. In this window, you can check the GNS3 server version which is 2.2.17. It also shows that you can launch through WebUI by using the GNS3 IP address. This is very important. Make sure that the KVM support available is true. If it's false, do these steps. Right click on the GNS3 VM. Settings. Under processors. You need to check the virtualize Intel VTX or AMD VRVI. 
you also need to enable the virtualization on your BIOS. To do this, restart your computer and go to your BIOS settings. Enable the virtualization technology. Now, save the changes and restart the computer. Let's launch the GNS3 application again. Wait for it to finish the startup process. Under the server summary you should see two servers which is the Windows local server and the GNS3 VM. If you encountered some issue, or one of the servers is red and it won't turn to green. You need to double check or do the following steps. First, make sure that the virtualization is enabled in your BIOS, and in the VMware workstation. Second, restart the GNS3, if still doesn't work, proceed to the next step. Restart the computer or laptop. Lastly, in most cases it's been blocked by the firewall so make sure to permit and exclude from your antivirus and firewall. Now, let's allocate the RAM and processor for the GNS3. But first, let's check the current RAM and processor of the VMware workstation. Right click on GNS3 VM. Settings. You can see that the allocated memory is 2 GB and the processor is only 1. Again. You don't change the CPU and RAM from this VMware workstation. You will do that on the GNS3. Open GNS3. Go to Edit, Preferences. GNS3 VM. Under Allocate vCPUs and RAM. We will edit the settings. CPU would be 2 cores since this laptop has 4 cores. Let's allocate 4 GB of RAM since it has 8 GB. The remaining will run the Windows 10 operating system. Again, the process depends on the CPU and RAM you allocate. Basically, the higher the better the performance. Once done. Click on OK. Now, the GNS3 will automatically reboot to apply the changes. The GNS3 and VMware workstation will start with the new settings. Now that it's already started, let's check the VMware workstation RAM and processor. You will notice that the CPU and RAM has been automatically adjusted. Let's perform some tests to verify that the installation was successful. We're going to create a very simple topology. Go to File, New Blank Project. Let's name it as Test Project. Before you click OK. You will notice that the title will be changed to the project name. In the next videos we will going to install Cisco, FortiGate, and Juniper images. So for now we will use the built-in devices. We will add a switch. Go to browse switches then drag Ethernet switch to the topology. You will be asked to choose a server. It is recommended that you run topologies on the GNS3 VM. Now we're going to add VPCS. Go to Browse End Devices then drag to VPCS. You must choose Server to GNS3 VM. Click and drag to reposition the device. Now, click on Add a Link. Click on PC1 then click on the switch to add a link. Click on the switch then click PC2 to connect both devices. Now, let's change the symbols, we did this in the previous video so we'll do it quick. Right click on the device then select change symbol.
Let's use Affinity Circle Blue for the VPCS. Select the symbol you want then click OK. Same goes with the other VPCS. Let's proceed to the switch. We will choose Affinity Circle Blue as well. You can show the interface labels. To turn on selected device. Right click on it then click start. But to start the topology click on the start button. Select yes to start all devices. You will notice that the nodes will turn to green. It means, it's already running. Let's open a console for all devices. We only see one PC so let's restart the console again. If you encounter this error then simply restart the console. We can now see PC1 and PC2. Let's now set IP address for both PC. For PC1 we will give the IP address 10.0.0.1 with slash 24 subnet mask. Checking for duplicate IP. For PC2 we will give the IP address 10.0.0.2 with the same subnet mask. Once you set the IP address of both device then you should be able to ping each other. Let's test ping from PC1 to PC2. Success. Ping PC1 from PC2. Success. Again, for the GNS3, we have to save the configuration. It will not automatically save your configuration. To confirm that everything is working, click on the stop button to stop all devices. Close the GNS3 then open it up again. Wait for the startup process. Select recent projects. I will select the test project which we did earlier. Turn on the topology. Open up console for all devices. Let's ping PC2 from PC1. Still able to ping. Ping PC1 from PC2. Still able to ping. It means the installation and configuration was successful. Now we finish installing the GNS3 client on Windows 10, and GNS3 VM within VMware Workstation Pro. Stay tuned as we will install Cisco, Fortigate, and Juniper images in the next videos. Please help my channel to grow. Click on like, share, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.